real cases before a real judge. And now, enter the courtroom of Judge Mathis. Plaintiff Latrina Stewart dated the defendant for two years, but their relationship was nothing but lies because the defendant was seeing other women behind her back. Latrina claims the defendant also frequented stripper parties while they were together, and she's suing him today for crashing her car. Defendant Andre Illich says Latrina is a habitual liar who's completely obsessed with him. Andre claims if he and Latrina were still together, they wouldn't be in court today, and he's countersuing because he claims Latrina's been harassing him by calling him at home and on his job. Start with you. Okay, Your Honor, I dated Andre for about two years. Um, everything was good at first, and then like um, he would go out with his friends, he would hang out late, come home, then it started with lies, females calling late night hours of the night. So at that point, I decided, well, it was too much. So we broke up. When did you all start dating? We dated, we started dating in 2010. Okay, you broke up when? In April of 2012. All right. We decided to try and work things out. So uh, he went out to a stripper party with one of his friends. Stripper party? Yes. Mm -hmm. So he this? comes in, he comes in at about maybe four-ish. So he lays down at about 4.30, his phone starts to ring. When was so this? I look at the phone, I don't answer Excuse me. it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When was this? I look at the phone, I don't Remind answer it. Remind me when it was. When you went out <laughs> when you went out in March with your friend. You don't remember that? No, I don't. Okay. I don't even like strippers, so well, lies as usual. I don't even like lies strippers. As, as usual. So I know. Excuse me, Your Honor. Once a dog, always a dog, and I like you on your knees now to apologize to me for all the pain <laughs> and suffering you caused me. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. So, um, okay. at this point, I, the next morning I get up, um, I look at the phone, so I call the number back. She's like, well, I'm looking for Andre. We were supposed to meet up. He was supposed to come hang out with me. I'm like, what? Judge, so, she is lying. I'll let you give you a defense. So, I ask him about it. He lies, as usual. Then, I get a call from one of his ex-girlfriends. Oh, where is Andre? We had sex all night the other night. I'm like, what? Why so, did she voluntarily tell you that, you think? I don't know. Maybe she thought I needed to know. Okay. But long story short, he's a liar, he's a cheater, he's a dog. So. All right, let me hear from you, sir, before we get to the uh, car damages. <laughs> Judge, let me just start off by saying this. This lady is a liar. She is a total habitual <laughs> liar. Everything she just said was wow. false. <laughs> First of all, she is obsessed with me. First of all, if Doyle wasn't here, she'd probably try to jump over here For on what? me. For <laughs> what? But... <clears throat> <laughs> no, so you can't. For what? Okay. Do women who are obsessed with you, do they typically sue you? <laughs> no, but no, oh, okay. this is why she's doing it. Because we're not together. Oh, oh okay. Because if we weren't, if we were together, okay. we wouldn't be here, sir. Trust me. Mm-hmm. You know, so. How'd this... you all break up? Well, uh, I had a, um, a, a small accident mm -hmm. in, uh, in the car. <laughs> Did she quit you? Well, it was actually almost mutual. Uh, okay. we, we had an argument. So that sounds and... like yes. Yeah. And let me, <laughs> let me also inform you uh -huh. that women who are obsessed with you don't quit you. I don't know. I think you got the wrong impression. No. I'm or maybe you just a different kind of guy. Women who are obsessed with you, they sue you and quit you. Well, no, she's being spiteful. That's all she is. She's no, doing. When she quit you, that wasn't being spiteful. That was, I don't want you. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe, but yeah, okay, people why who she's are obsessed been obsessed with you do not abandon you. Okay, well, after she quit me, after she so called quit me, mm -hmm. she, were, she was calling my job excessively, coming up to my job Asking excessively. Asking you to come back? Yes, okay. all of these type of things. Yeah, all right. and, and, and what would you tell her? Of course not. That's what you tell her? Of course. All right, and because she just she's kept so trying? obsessive and she's mm -hmm. just. Like, oh, you know, I was born in, when we were together, mm -hmm. I couldn't even blow my nose Excuse without me, getting accused of looking at another female. We couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't even be sitting, a woman would look at me and she would get mad at me. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, that's just terrible. Can I you know, I, I, lies, please? I'm not lying, you know it's the truth. That's why you're Let's get smiling. to the car damage. Okay, so one morning he took me to work. We were friends before anything, so I said, until you, you know, save your money and get your car together, you know, on the days I work, you can take me to work and use, you can use my car. 
So all of a sudden, this particular day, he decides to call me 20 minutes after he drops me off and says, uh, I don't know what happened, but I slid into a school bus. In my brand new car, you just slide into a school bus? No, what happened? Okay. If I may, Your Honor, if I may. Uh, lie. The, the school bus stopped oh, abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> the school bus stopped abruptly. And because were, he were said that a car... Were there children on there? No, it was a Saturday morning. Actually, he told me and the car cut the bus off. So which The car cut the bus off, which made the bus stop abruptly, which made me stop abruptly. So where's the I do not have the, the evidence, but you, if you were out there, you could see that <laughs> the bus... You could see that the bus stopped because of the tire tracks. Well, I have evidence. Street. I have pictures of so, my car. And I had just left the car wash, so the wheels were still kind of wet. Oh, my God. It wasn't Jesus. my fault, Your Honor. I mean, I, I, I know how to drive pretty well. So, I mean, I know... I have the accident report that shows that it was his fault. Let's see it. Picture. And the pictures. You might know how to drive and well, but you must not know laws to pertaining okay. to driving. Well, sir, I actually was not even doing over 20 miles an hour. Right. And like but I then said, you definitely the shouldn't have run into the bus then. That's what I'm saying. That the, but the you wheels, did. Well, the wheels. I mean, that's what you're saying. I'm saying if you're doing 20 miles an hour mm -hmm. and you're spaced properly mm -hmm. from that car, you should not hit it. He was too busy worried about it. There's a presumption of negligence anytime a car hits another in the back. The assumption is that if someone stops in front of you and you slam into the back of them, you should have not been so close. Yeah, this is a bus. Mm. Sir. <laughs> mm. And I, but, you know, I, I don't think, even, even if so, Okay, let's just say it really was my but he fault. Was going left but it doesn't give a person the right to harass you. If Doyle wasn't here, she'd probably try to jump over here. For what? <laughs> For <that>. But <laughs> no, see so you can't. For what? Okay. Do women who are obsessed with you do they typically sue you? <laughs> no, but no. Oh, okay. This is why she's doing it. Plaintiff Latrina Stewart is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims Latrina is completely obsessed with him. What did she do to harass you? I, well, I, like I said, <laughs> she would come to my job. She would call me all times. How many night. times now did I she come to your job? Three, four, five times. I'm, I'm not sure. Which but one it was is a lot it? of times? Oh, okay. Sir. I mean, over three know. times. Yes, sir. Definitely over three times. Ma'am, calling my job. Excessively. He's lying. My ball, it, it's you never called his job at all? I call his cell phone. I text him. So you ain't never called my job? Did I you ever him. come to his job? No, he's never. lying. Never. He's lying. But when we dated, yes, I did go to his job. No, yes. to, to uh, ask about money for no, the car. No, I did not go to his job. No, I did not. She would ask for both. She would mm -hmm. always come up and get in my line because I do, <laughs> I, I'm, a re I'm a cashier and I'm a stock oh, okay. mm -hmm. at my job. So sometimes what I'll store, be at what the What type register. of store? I'm Is there sorry. anything she could have gone there to purchase? Yes. Yes, but there's plenty of other stores that she can go <laughs> she to before to come she there. gets there. She wants to see She's right. obsessed. Right. That's what That's I'm saying. Yeah, all right. <laughs> She's so money. obsessed. She either wanted to see me or she right. was embarrassing me, whatever it was. Or it was she wanted her money. <laughs> It's harassment. Exactly. Or she wanted her money. Or she wanted her money. Leave that which part I'm a fair out. man, Your Honor. You have the uh, estimates? <clears throat> um, yes. It, it still I doesn't give a, it on a person the last right page to harass. The total. And she says she didn't harass you. You have any evidence of harassment? No, I don't, but... I have the text messages that I did send him, though. Let's and see the him. ones he sent me. Mm-hmm. Plaintiff, well, I know you saw me the day you ran in the house. <laughs> you bogus as hell for <laughs> up my car. Nobody messing my car up. Else. If you know you owe me money, but you will be punished, I can, I can't believe you. Jesus. Then he says, it's cool. <laughs> God knows what you did was wrong. You see me calling, trying to resolve this. This is you still mm -hmm. talking. What does he say on the here? The first now? one, he was sending me text messages first. He told me to call, call him. Call me, right. But when I call him, he don't answer. Now I'm harassing him. <laughs> okay, that's what you're showing me this for. Gotcha. No, Sir, how do you explain that? <laughs> that ain't me. Harassing nah. you, but yet you told her to call you. Nah, she's lying. All right. That's a lie. That's a lie, Your Honor. I believe you're that's the liar lie. here today. I'm going to no, dismiss sir. your claim and grant your judgment. Have a good day. Thank judgment you. to the claim.
just want you to apologize. You lied to me. We were supposed to be friends. You weren't much of a friend. I just wanted an apology. Okay, well, you're not gonna get one from me. <laughs> He's pathetic. Sorry. Stalker. No way I could Obsession. be obsessed with him. I was doing him a favor.